this video, let's start moving into the next step of our corridor theories, and that's to start getting ready to cut us some sections and section views. Quick tour, we have topographic surface, a corridor, and the associated alignments with the corridor and associated surface with the corridor. And what we're ready to do is to start cutting sections and section views. It says sections in the layman's terms, those are the cross sections in the engineering world. In order to cut sections or to view the sections, we must sample the surfaces in the same way that we do with profiles. In order to sample them, these are called sample lines. So I'm going to click sample lines and you must choose the alignment you wish to sample along. So I will choose set alignment to pop up the wizard. You're able to give it a name or use built-in tools to help with sequential counting. You're able to set the styles of the lines themselves, labels if you wish to label them, and the layer. Down here are the available sources that can be sampled along said alignment. You're able to turn them on and off. In my case, I do not want the corridor surface sampled. I'm going to turn that off. You're able to change the styles. So my topo is set to existing ground, but my corridor is not set to anything but standard. I'm going to change that to the code set for cross sections. Notice that when I click that code set, when I click this style, I am in my service styles. It's intelligent enough to know the difference. So for my corridor, I will be using this code set. I will hit OK, and it will be immediately begin the tool to create samples, sample lines. You can click anywhere along here to create samples, but I want to do it for my entire corridor. So I'm going to click this button, and I'm going to do by station, by range. And this dialog box pop up. You're able to drop one at the beginning, drop one at the end. Here's our station range. You're able to set the width to the left to the right to sample. I am going to sample it for 60 feet. And you're able to set increments along curves if you so wish. I will hit OK. And I will hit Escape to end the command. And notice that it created sample lines. Each one of these sample lines, if it's selected, you're able to use this grip to change the station. Move it if you so wish. If you're able to use the square grip. You can change the orientation if you want to do an oblique section. And you can use the arrow to widen it or shorten the section all dynamically. Now that I've got those in there, I will quickly interrogate it, look through and make sure my samples are wide enough to get my entire corridor. This one gets close, but we're good. So we're good there. It sampled the, a good enough width. If I didn't, if it hadn't, I could have used one of those groups and edited it. This section, station 25 plus not not, we may end up removing this section because it's through another corridor. But now that we've got these sample lines done, we are able to cut section views. The sample lines and sample line groups are located under the alignment in which you created the group for. So you will see it here. And in it is a list of all of these sections, sample lines that you cut. And here are the, the sections or the sources that I sampled, also known as sections. <clears throat> if I select one of these, notice the contextual ribbon changes. You can use the ribbon to change and create them if you want to. I click Edit Sample Lines. And now if I choose a sample line, get a whole nother dialog box, which I can tabularly edit if I so wish. Okay, just another way of editing it. If I have it selected, you can sample more sources. So if you create another um, surface or maybe you change your mind and you want a surface, this is how you could sample additional surfaces and sources. All of them that you have not sampled will appear over here on the left. You can edit the view group or the sample group. So here's our list of lines. Here's our sections. We have no views yet, and we have not talked about material lists. If when you did the sample lines, I guess I just did it at whole stations, right? 
if you decide you needed to put in a custom section, for instance, you were doing drainage profiles, or you had an area where something specific was happening and you wanted to drop a profile at that point, such as low points or high points or roadway intersections, all you have to do is you select this. Actually, you don't even have to select, you just click sample lines again, and you choose the alignment. And because you, that alignment was already done, it knows you're in the same group. And then you can manually do it by station. Choose a station. Now it wants to know left swath width. I'll just type 60. 60. And it dropped another station section there. And that was somewhere around 20. 27, 25, come over here and we'll get ready to start cutting our cross sections, but we'll do that in another video. That's it for sample lines. That's the first step. And the next step, we're going to start creating section view. If you found this content helpful, please click the like button. It helps me know what people are finding useful so I can create more of it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to receive notifications when I post more content. Thank you.